Hi there, so I'm going to be talking about props in this video, uh, Svelte props, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. So what I have here is my app.svelte, and I've got my card.svelte, which is a component. So the component I can use over and over again, and at this point, if I put a card here and here, they're going to look the exact same. But let's say I wanted to have like a blue card, a green card, and a red card. So if I wanted to do that, then I would need a color or a background color prop. So in order to do a prop, you're going to do export let, uh, export let, and then the name of the prop, um, which is short for property, I'm pretty sure. So let's say I have background color, like that. And then in here, if it's a style, I can't put it in here because these are fixed and static. These won't change. So if it's something that could possibly change, then you're going to put style equals background color and then just type in the name of the JavaScript variable, background color, and you'll see right now they're still all white because you need to pass the prop in like this. So background color equals, and you can do, if it's a string, you can do it like this, and type in blue, and there it is, it is blue. And then for this one, if I wanted to make it blue, I could, or I could make it green, or whatever. Um, and let's say I don't put anything for here, and it's white. But let's say you want the default to be something like red, then here you can do export let background color equals red, and that'll make it red. So if there is nothing defined there, then it's just going to default to that red, because that's what I set it equal to. And if I pass something into it, then it will uh, be whatever I pass. So another thing you can do, background color equals blue, if you have a very, like, um, let's say I already have background color defined up here, equals blue then one thing I could do is pass that variable like this and call it background color. Oops. Let me make it orange so you can see. Orange, so now it's orange. Um, if they have the same name, then I can just delete this first part and do it like that, and that's going to work as well, and it's going to be orange. Uh, let me change. Actually, let's just not have a default, and then it'll just be white. Okay, so that's how you have your props and that's how you define a this is how you define a default. Um, the other thing that you can do is if you have let's say I just have this one card and I have multiple props like export let um, maybe there's like text and no text is the default. Okay and then I can just put the text right there and it'll say no text. And then I got my background color, and I have my text equals hi there. Okay, so it'll say hi there. So if I have a object, let's say I call it let card object equal, and then I define all of the props in here. Background color is going to be green, and the text is going to be uh, this is the object text then I can come down here and use a spread operator dot 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 card object and that's gonna pass in all of these props for me okay so since it since they have the exact same name background color text that's gonna work and it'll pass them all in there for me um, the last thing I'm gonna show you I don't know when you'd want to use this and it's generally recommended to not do this but it's something you can do if you want. Let's say I put in another uh, random prop, or just, you know, I, I pass it a prop that it isn't asking for. Hey, guys. Okay, this is this random prop that nobody was asking for. If you want to use that, you can come down here and access with dollar sign, dollar sign props, all of the props that were passed in. So you see here it's an object, um, dollar sign, dollar sign props, random prop and that'll get you the hey guys um, so usually you're gonna want to any prop that you're expecting to use you'll probably want to define it up here but if for whatever reason you want to do this you can um, and that is all for the props